if you were to go back 5 years compare theater income i'm adding multiplex in theater mm. versus ott 5 years ago what would this number be what is growing fast i'm guessing ott right? ott yeah. Okay, yeah. at but what 5 years ago that must have been much bigger than ott this would have been insignificant mm. but is that decreasing is mm. ott growing on the back of theaters i think tv oh. shows are something that were pre pandemic that's what people were watching mm. and for cinemas Uh, for movies mm. they were coming to the so i think they were both complementing each other right it wasn't and the same consumer mm. was happy to let the story unfold mm. over 13 <laughs> episodes and yet want to see season 2 mm. and he also was going out for a quick fix mm. and watching a movie for two and a half hours are coming i think the lines got blurred in the uh, you know pandemic mm. where because producers could not release the movies on the big screen mm. uh, therefore you know and cinemas were shut anyway and they want to monetize their content a lot of content got sold and now uh, basically uh, there is some amount which is purely ott revenue and which is th- uh, the tv shows or fa- fabulous tv shows and some is uh, going through that monetization journey of content anyway mm. which is first it goes to theatrical the Visual quantitative rights. and the qualitative benchmark gets set then goes to ott then goes to uh, satellite yeah. so that part I don't know the exact number. I, I read this very interesting. The paper spoke about the theatrical window. Yeah. So let's say ten years ago or five years ago, the difference in time from when a movie released in a theater right. to when it came out on OTT, or you can extrapolate and say VCD, DVD, yeah, yeah, Blu-ray, correct. whatever. Correct. Used to be a couple of years. Came down to one year. Came down to six months. Came down to one month. There have been experiments where. they both released on the same day yeah. the movie actually did well but the theater community had such a issue with it yes. that they were not allowed mm. to release on the same day correct correct do you think the fact that a movie is re- is re- is releasing in a theater first helps ott i think both uh, uh, well this is, is what is marketing been, for the yeah, movie this is what absolutely so uh, this happened during the pandemic obviously uh, the, the windows collapsed completely as i said for the same reason because studios had content ready and they wanted to release it and obviously lots of studios came out with their own streaming services you know warner uh, warner had hbo uh, hotstar when bob iger you know disney, towards the end of his book they launched they launched disney, disney plus. plus and plus they were also not very happy to give all their libraries to netflix and they wanted to create their own streaming platform but then they realized that uh, that the awareness of the movie and this 42 billion dollars that i'm talking about and the 21 that was coming to back coming to them can never get recouped if mm-hmm. they go straight to streaming so if a 100 million dollar movie gets made and you want to monetize it it's best to first release it in the first window which is theatrical and that wasn't the same 12 uh, weeks or you know whatever 2 months 3 months 4 months they shorten it down to 8 weeks so they said even 8 weeks are enough because of the term that i used earlier called carpet bombing mm. if you have a big movie that's right you don't need to mm. you know release it uh, after 2 months yeah. or 3 months or 4 months because mm. when you carpet bomb it it releases mm. at 5000 6000 7000 screens and if the movie clicks with the consumers you'll get your revenue back anyway so therefore uh, after lots of trials and tribulations you decided to get the window back right. and it's more for economic rationale right because so that you know you make superman you make right. spider man you make like these avatars of the world mm. how the hell are you going to get that money back yeah. if you don't get that 2 billion dollar revenues to be honest with you avatar would have done 2 billion dollars mm. but uh, russia was in in uh, at mm. war mm. so russia contributed a lot mm. china had this uh, you know zero covid policy so theaters were shut and yet it ended up doing about 1.2 billion dollars So the avatar was the eye opener, mm. which once again made everybody come across, you know, sit across a table like this and say, you know what, let's get the windows back. Right. But, but tell me, Ajay, do, do you think people will go to the theater now mm. to watch a particular type of of um, you know movie, yeah. or will they come? regardless so does it have to be a really big production and glitzy and you know what I want to watch it on a big screen because i mean streaming has sort of somewhat uh, like it, people are now accustomed to just watching different types of content Correct. on streaming services is is that is that something that you know i'm still finding tv shows getting more traction 
Is that right? So all of us, when we talk about, we'll talk about Ted Lasso, we'll talk about The Hard, we'll talk yeah. about a lot of these programs. Yeah, Ted Lasso is amazing. I still amazing. think when it comes to movies, hmm. uh, people still feel that uh, if uh, they say, uh, if content is king, movie content, then theater is the kingdom. I'm not saying it because I run cinemas. Interesting. But theatrical uh, people are coming and uh, I also thought only tentpole movies, big event movies will do well. And suddenly came Kashmir Files. Uh, Drishyam. Drishyam only at Ajay Devgan. Point. But otherwise the production value was very, very low. Yeah. It was only made in it did over 200 crores. Gangu Bhai. Okay, fine. You still had your art direction was very good. Now Kerala uh, story and then two, three Vicky Kaushal movie, Karthik, Aryan. So last three, four, five months, uh, now people are saying, I want escapism. I, I'll go out and watch the movie on the big screen, but please make sure the uh, content connects with me. They will reject it. They were rejecting it pre-COVID also. They rejected post-COVID anything that doesn't yeah. get their money's worth. But to defend Ajay's point, uh, if you look at the American market, which is a lot more mature, and we generally tend to lag them a few years or whatever. Movie theatres seem to be making a comeback. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like occupancy rates in the recent past, I'm talking like one quarter, two quarters, seem to be going up there. Yeah, yeah I think it's, but, by the way, just <coughs> for, and just for entrepreneurs who are thinking about all this, you know, it's important that the ecosystem be healthy. Yeah. It is not healthy if there's only one part. Correct. That's yeah. doing well because, you know, a rising tide is going to lift all yeah. boats. You yeah. don't want only one boat. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be only streaming. I, I, yeah. And I think if 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 there is enough help that yeah. that movies, television yeah. and streaming, they all sort of come together. Yeah. And, and there'll be different points in time when different things have emphasis. But so long as they're all sort of lifting, actually, yeah. it's a much healthier. I know, so agree with you because I don't think the question is. Either or OTT correct. or no, theatres. No, I think Life it is, it not is binary. Yeah. what combination of OTT and theatre together can aid this ecosystem, which yeah. at the end of the day is employing so many people Absolutely. do better. Exactly. In fact, during the during COVID, a lot of people thought we'll panic and I'll object to movies going to the big screen. I was actually very happy because at least money is flowing back into the production fraternity. I had a very contrarian view because yeah. imagine if they these. Because a very fragmented yeah. market. Studios were having a problem. Yeah. Imagine here, mom and pop, yeah, you yeah. know, 5,000, 6,000 producers who made a movie and they can't release it. So, in fact, it was a very healthy thing yeah. that they were able to monetize their content by selling it to That's right. uh, various streaming, uh, yeah. Yeah. Streaming, platforms. streaming platforms. Then they got the money back. Then it encouraged them to make movies. Mm. So, even right after 22, 23, can you believe it? We had 1,800 films still. So, if you compare 1920 oh, wow. to 18... Right? Yeah, Exactly the same number of films. And even now, I, I was just tracking because I didn't know what Nikhil will ask me. <laughs> and <laughs> quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, 450 films a quarter. Holy cow. Hi, I'm Nikhil Kamath. I'd love to know what you thought of the episode. Uh, comment, like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.